Doing it, doing shaku shaku, I would be doing like people would think I'm the happiest person in the room, but I'm shaku shakuing myself to depression. Mm. Now I'm gonna drop something on y'all that a lot of people ain't gonna like when they hear what I'm about to say. Are you ready? 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 I can't tell you guys how many times I have recorded this video. <laughs> no, I just, I really can't tell you guys how many times I've recorded it. There's so many reasons as to why I did not post this video. Um, last Sunday I actually recorded, I was supposed to drop this video last Sunday and I had it recorded, edited, I had an intro that I had been working on for a long time. I had everything ready and the video just would not, um, like after I finished editing, it didn't, it just wouldn't say to my computer. And I was just so frustrated. And I was just like, I'm, I was just, I was over it. I was over it. I honestly was not going to come back. I was so over it. And I was just like, God, 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 like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to be on time. And I honestly felt like God was telling me, you need to be raw. I was saying everything, but I just wasn't, I wasn't saying everything. And I don't even know if that's going to make sense. But, um, I'm just going to go in and I'm, I'm, I'm not mad that there's no intro because I'm so used to saying, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and being like, you know, you know, just basically being that YouTuber. So I'm just going to be real and I hope you guys do not mind. I hope I'm not too deep, not too cutthroat, but I'm just going to talk. I have not dropped a video since May of this year. I have been away for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, by the looks of this video and by the title, you know that this is a tell all. So I will be telling all. Um, I don't really care what people say. I don't care what people think. I'm just really going to just tell you everything. So. May 2018, I dropped a video, um, the Dark Skin Girl video, that's still on my channel. If you guys look back, it received a lot of love. I think it's at 2,000 right now, 2,000 views. And after that video, I dropped a video about, um, I guess, what guys want in a woman. I think it was like, or what guys sees, like what, guy, what a guy sees in a girl, something like that. And I dropped that, and I deleted it. Um, and I deleted it for various reasons which I'm about to reveal but y'all I was I was not me I was not me when I dropped that you know perception guys perception video I was not me I was not happy I was not I couldn't live a lie and come here and sit here and talk to you guys and say and this is how you love yourself and this is how you do this and this is how you guys do that and I could not lie to myself anymore I just absolutely could not I was overwhelmed. Life was hitting me. I'm um, both good and both bad. I was being hit in all directions. Um, I was overwhelmed. Um, and I was pretending like I was fine. And I was like, you know what? I need to be consistent. If I stop dropping videos, if I stop doing, you know, if I stop having this wave that I'm going, that, that I'm having, I'm going to lose followers. I'm going to lose subscribers. People are going to forget about me. And I got so caught up in the fact that people were going to forget about me that I forgot about myself. Um, I forgot about my worth. I forgot about simply everything. Around May-ish and a little before that, my aunt was diagnosed with cancer. Um, and um, she died from cancer. I don't... It's kind of still hard for me to talk about, but I was living a complete lie by saying that I was okay because I, I wasn't okay. I'm the type of person that like, I would say that I'm that strong friend or I just hate looking weak. I absolutely hate looking weak and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep on moving. I'm going to keep on dropping videos. I'm going to keep on being consistent. 
to the point where I was literally just moving. I was not living. I was not okay with the fact that my aunt had died. I wasn't okay with the fact that I was praying and she still died. I wasn't okay with that. I was upset. I was not upset with God. I was upset for some reason with myself and I had resented my friends. Um, so if you're my friend, yeah, congratulations because this is like really, I'm really being raw right now and this is like, they don't even know this. They're just fighting this out. I was resenting my friends for not being there for me, even though I told them that I was okay. And as people, I believe we have to watch out for that because we get so mad at people and we say, oh, I'm by myself or team me, I'm team alone. But we're not even telling people that something is wrong. And that's what I was doing. I was lying. I was saying that I was okay. And then I would go back in my room and cry and hate my friends for not being there for me. I'm always there for everyone. And I just kept on feeling like everyone was not there for me. My aunt's death affected me. I was, I didn't cry. No, I did cry. When I got the call, I did cry. But after that, I was not crying because I felt like I was like, you know what? I'm not going to think about this. I'm going to keep on moving. Um, I was doing like job stuff. I was getting connections and stuff like that. I'm going to explain that later. But I was moving and I didn't have time to settle down and be like, I am not okay. I need to process her death. But I did not. I refused to process her death. I was dropping videos. And that was like a very huge reason as to why I was away from YouTube. And with my aunt's death, I was completely off, completely off with my A game. I just started losing myself. Like I lost my identity and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna be that. I'm just, I was just focused on looking good and just, just looking good, going out, stuff like that. And I'm so used to like a self care regimen, like reading my Bible, reading my word, worshiping, um, writing, blogging. Um, I love like news and research stuff and I was just, I'm such a nerd, really low key. I was just not doing anything that I was so used to doing. And that caused me to fall. I'm not, God forbid, I wasn't like in depression or anything like that. I'm not going to self-diagnose myself. But I was really, I was really, I was like upset. I wouldn't even say sad because I've been sad before, but I was so upset. And I was upset with everything and everyone. I wasn't even upset with God. I just really did not even speak to God. I was in a, a period of my time where I didn't speak to God. And that's another reason as to why I left YouTube. And I really feel like I'm one of those people that's like creative through God. Like I feel like God inspires my creation and he's gifted me with the power to think of YouTube ideas and, and be a multimedia journalist and be someone that can have an influence or wants to have an influence on people. And because I wasn't close to God, I had nothing, like absolutely nothing up here. I was completely lost. I didn't know what direction to go with my videos. I didn't know what topics to do. I was completely over, like over everything, over everyone, over YouTube. I was still, if you follow me on Instagram, you can, you saw that I, I would still be posting. Like I would be like posting cute selfies or just doing shakara nonsense or whatever. I wasn't really like posting or blogging and that was because I lost creativity um and that's because I wasn't close with God and I wasn't close with God because of my aunt's death I didn't really blame God for her death but I was questioned I was I was questioning I feel like questioning comes from you know the enemy and he wants you to think like oh like why did God do this I was questioning my life I was questioning my career I was questioning my friends I was even questioning myself and I was just done I was so confused I was in a, a period of complete confusion and I didn't know how to handle anything so I was just moving this summer was probably like one of the hardest summers that I ever had I was committed to an internship I was committed to an apartment and I'm going to explain that story later I was entertaining stuff that just wasn't me in that aspect I'm talking about like men and guys and stuff like that not that I was out here being a little thought or whatever but I was not myself. Um, when it comes to relationships, I'm very, very serious. Not the type that's like, you must marry me. I'm not gonna come in here and be like, come out like that. We all slip up, and you know, be like, yeah. I've only been in one like serious, serious relationship, and that was a, a period of over like four years, or a span of four years. I knew him since high school, going into college, and we were together throughout college. I'm not gonna drop too many details about that relationship simply off of the strength and respect that I have for him. After that relationship, 
I didn't process, well, I processed why it didn't work, but I was so stuck that it didn't work. It was mutual, but it was like, I guess I had to go and he had to go. And after that, I probably had like one serious thing after that, but everything else was not, was definitely nothing basically came close. Um, so because I was so stuck and because I was so confused, I was entertaining guys. Like I'm going to say starting like April, May. I was entertaining guys that normally wouldn't even make my top 10 and what by top 10 or top 5 or top 3 because who am I? I don't got nobody blinking on my phone to have top 10 but usually like I can pick out when somebody wants something like you know when a guy just wants to it's not that I didn't know but I was ignoring it because I just wanted to feel something I wasn't feeling anything like I said I was just moving and I was just having people around me and getting close to me that didn't really even care if I ate today. Like, guys would tell me, like, they see me for my body and they're attracted to my body and stuff like that. And personally, girl, I am not that type of shit with you. Like, I'm not going to leave with you. And, like, everybody has fallen. I'm not going to come here and preach a story of, oh, I haven't done this because my dad. <laughs> like, I would set myself up for failure than be disappointed in that person and myself for being in failure and it made no freaking sense like there was like a couple people like two years ago or a year ago i would not even look your way not even because of like physical attraction because i don't talk to i don't talk to nobody that's ugly i don't talk to nobody that's yeah but simply off the strength of you don't respect me and you don't really want to get to know me you just want to get to know what you see but you don't even want to know how i am like how i laugh stuff like that and i was disappointed with I was disappointed in that and it caused me to be in deeper confusion and to be in deeper regret and to be even more upset to the point where I closed everything off. This summer I was so busy and I forced myself to be busy so I wouldn't talk to literally anybody. So I didn't have to entertain anybody or um, meet with anybody or see my friends just so they wouldn't ask me how are you, how are you doing sis and I would just, I felt like if they were to ask I would just ball out. And I would just cry. My MoCo friends, my Baltimore friends, they know when something is wrong. And if I was around them, I would make sure the conversation is about them. One thing I am very good at is making a conversation off of me. Or make, making sure I'm not the topic of conversation when I don't want it to be. I will have you rap about your whole life. Just so you wouldn't notice that I haven't said anything. That's usually like when it comes to men and stuff like that. Not really necessarily girls. Because my friends know when something is wrong. And I'm not talking about myself. Or they just be like, what's wrong? You know, I wanted to get away. I was just literally going to work. Going to my internship. Lock up. Eat. Oh my gosh. Another reason is because I, I gained weight. I lost weight and then I gained it back. And I was, I was stress eating. I was emotional eating. I was just eating. I know you guys know I love to cook. And another reason why I didn't cook was because I was just dealing with this stupid, this one stupid apartment, but I'm going to explain that in the story for later. I just would get home from work on my internship and then order food and then be sad that I was gaining weight. I started wearing clothes that kind of hid my body more. And of course, I've lost some of the weight and I'm still like losing it. But I just was hiding. Um, I was hiding physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like, can you really imagine? I was hiding from God. I was hiding from my friends. I was hiding from myself, showing my, not showing myself. I was, I wouldn't say miserable, but I was low. And people would be asking me how I'm doing. I'd be like, I'm, yeah, I'm good. Hey, like, how are you? And I'd go in my car and just, like, turn off. Working a job and working an internship that I had to constantly interact with people drained me. To the point, like, when I got home, I had nothing left. I just wanted to eat. And I was just so done and overwhelmed. And another reason why I was overwhelmed was because I was moving in and out of apartments, literally. Um, I had moved from my off-campus or on-campus um, apartment to an apartment that was right by it it wasn't but the second day that we noticed that there was like a fly infestation like these little tiny baby little flies but they were literally everywhere like I lie like I lie to you not those flies were everywhere they would be in the food in the fridge and I was just so overwhelmed I was just like why is God like is God cursing me like I would be, like, trust me, I was saying was God cursing me, but everything else was working well. Like, my internships were, work, were working well, and I was just so over it. I was like, is God cursing me? Like, this type of, um, shit, what if my mom calls it? Some Yoruba thing. 
if you know it, let me know. I forgot. You said like something like bad spirit is when there's a bunch of flies in the atmosphere or in your room. And I just felt like I had to get out the apartment. Like with me, it's just like when I feel something that thick, I need to get out. So we were staying with friends and staying. It was just a whole it was so much and I was so overwhelmed and I was just so, I was so over everything. Like I was completely over everything. I was just, just over so much. So I had no time for YouTube. I had no time to sit down and talk to you guys or find people to interview because if you guys know the type of videos that I have, I'm just, it's just not me beating my face. I have to actually interview people. Think of interview questions, research that person, read that person. So I know questions that will provoke answers. I did not have the strength to do any of that. I couldn't come here. I just couldn't come here and say anything. Like, I just couldn't. I was dealing with a, a fly infestation. I was dealing with boys that just wanted me for my body. I was dealing with not talking to God, not being a worshiper, not just, I was just off of my game. And I was, I'm not one of those people that can come to you and rap to you and be like, hey, um, welcome to my channel. I'm not, personally, I am not. And I do, one thing I do regret is that I did not update people on where I was because a lot of people were asking me and would come up to me and be like, hey, are you still on YouTube? Are you still doing YouTube? I haven't seen you drop the video. Is everything okay? And people coming up to me, like, if you did that or if you said anything about my YouTube, I personally want to thank you because you made me feel like somebody was watching. And even my, my videos now are getting some type of, you know, small little wave. Anybody that watched and the people that commented on the dark skin video, thank you, thank you for the bottom of my heart, all of you, because you guys kind of like pushed my process. I felt like, I just felt like I was not, I know I'm destined, but I felt like I need to hurry up because what am I doing? Like, if you're not going to, if you're going to sit on God's idea, he will give it to the next generation. He'll give it to the next person. You guys kind of pushed me to be like, come on, you need to get back. You need to get back to where you were. And I just started... I think I just started to, I think I just woke up out of everything and I was just like, no, because I am blessed. Um, it was just so much going on with my family. I come from a pretty well-off family, um, especially like on my mom's side, a pretty well-off family. She's from Nigeria and I'm really that type of person that I don't like to ask for stuff. No matter if she's a, a millionaire or a billionaire, I don't want to ask for it, literally anything. So I'd rather starve and struggle just so you won't be able to be like, I'm giving you this, you have to do what I say type of thing. And that also caused me to be even sadder because I wasn't I wasn't getting what I wanted or I couldn't afford certain things. But back to the topic, like, I just woke up. But I started going back to church. I started worshiping. I started going more on my word. I started studying. I started perfecting my craft. It is so important to perfect your craft spend time with yourself and i got i got to know myself more after all of these things happened and i got to know myself more i got to know like okay why did i why did i do this in the past why am i somebody that likes to appear strong no more acting like i'm okay no more no more having to be okay i literally said my dear i can't come and kill myself if YouTube got to go, it had to go. And I took a break and I was just like, nah, like, I'm going to make sure when I come back, I come back strong. I come back ready to influence. I hate saying influence because this influ influencer, Mama Jama, like, <laughs> my dear people were saying influence, but you're only influencing me to skip your video. I wanted to make sure that I came back equipped, which I am. So we about to eat. I'm ready to show you guys what I've been working on, what I've been thinking on, the events I've been planning. And oh my gosh, how could I forget? Another reason for my break was simply because feeling like YouTube was all the same. I felt like everyone on YouTube had the same thing. I felt like people would be, I come from an environment, like if you don't know me, I'm from the DMV. Everybody jocks everybody. From blogging, to the way your page looks on Instagram, to rapping, to singing, to photography. Every, there's a there's a lot of people that have their own niche and their own thing and you can tell that's their style but there's so many people who try to be like other people and I was just so over this whole scene I was like you know what every blogger every youtuber here every everybody is the same like let me just get off this thing because I didn't want to appear like I was these people just go back to yourself like be yourself no matter if your content isn't getting views no matter if you feel like you're off no matter no matter what it is, be yourself. Because if you're destined for something, it will come to you and it will follow you. Also, if you feel like you need to have a break, 
take a break. Nothing is gonna happen if you take a break. If it is destined for your channel to have one million views, or if you take a break, it won't it won't come and kill you. Like you'll be okay. If you're destined for something, a small hiccup is not gonna mess up your walk in the road at all. Like take a break. I feel like I see so many people that I can tell that they're literally dying inside, but because they want to be consistent, their material or their con content is not the same anymore. Um. But yeah, so um, I feel like this video is really all over the place because, but it's a tell-all, so I don't know. It's just all over the place because simply because I just felt like I couldn't, I couldn't keep it structured because my life, my life, my break, my break was not structured. So I'll be doing, I'll be singing, doing shaku shaku. I would be doing like people would think I'm the happiest person in the room. But I'll be shaku shaku shaking myself to depression. The biggest lie from the enemy is I was putting up a front for myself. I was lying to myself. I wasn't. I wasn't talking to anybody. I wasn't even talking to myself. I was literally moving. I was a walking figure this summer. If I had carried out plans that were safe for the future, it would never process right. Or the I guess the response it was supposed to get wouldn't have happened. I want to look at my YouTube and be like, this is who I am. This is myself. This is what I am. This is what I represent. Go through it. Process it with God, with family, with yourself. Be devoted to yourself to go through it. I can sit in sadness and anger and resentment for so long. You determine how long you're going to be sad. Thank you so much. Like, may God continue to bless y'all for real. Because you never know the blessing that you guys can be in somebody's life. And you guys are a blessing in my life. Um, I hope that with my videos, you get to know me. And that was another reason why I kind of took a break. Because I felt like it was hard to do what I do. Like, which is interviewing people and talk about certain topics. And infuse myself into there. I'm so excited for you guys to see the content that I'm going to be dropping soon. I just want to wrap this up because my camera is telling me that I have five more seconds. But um, I'm glad to be back. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Look forward to what I am dropping. First of all, if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. If you're not subscribed to this channel. Eh? What's really doing you? Um, oh, follow me on social media. Um, Instagram is um, Nia Speaks TV. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching this this isn't this I'm